you got to be big boys. You got to take it like a man. Um, they got after us. They whipped us. But we've got two games left. This is an unusual season, obviously. Um, you know, we'll, we'll need to rebound. Our, our, you know, we'll uh, need to rebound like we did earlier in the season. And it's a grind, but that's just part of it. Good evening, everyone. I'm William Galloway. That was Coach Gus Malzahn after Alabama's 42-13 win over Auburn yesterday in the 85th Iron Bowl. The Tide took down the Tigers in what was undoubtedly a one-sided game for 60 minutes. While Mac Jones and the offense put the points on the board, it was Pete Golding's defense that was able to control Bo Nix and the Auburn offense all game long. Malachi Moore and Brian Branch both had an interception for Alabama. Branch's was the first of his career and included a 30-yard return. Josh Job led the Tide with 10 tackles. Also, Christopher Allen, Christian Barmore, and Will Anderson were able to get to the backfield and all three recorded a sack on Bo Nix. The Alabama defense forced a turnover in the last 74 out of its last 80 contests. That dates all the way back to the start of the 2015 season. So just think about all the players that have come through since then. And even though he watched from home, Coach Saban still had some feedback for his defense on their performance. We made a couple of mistakes in the secondary that could have been really costly. You know, the guy drops the ball when he's 20 yards behind everybody, you know, in the second quarter, uh, which was a bust on defense. And, you know, there's a couple others on third down that we needed to get off the field on and didn't uh, because of a couple mental errors. But, you know, Auburn does a really, really good job offensively. They, they use a lot of formations, a lot of motions. You really have to be on your toes in terms of how you adjust and, um, Sometimes, for the most part, we did a really good job, but we made a couple errors that, you know, helped them make some plays, especially on third down. And some breaking news around the SEC today. Vanderbilt football is parting ways with head coach Derek Mason after the Commodores 0-8 start to this 2020 season. Offensive coordinator Todd Fitch will serve as the interim head coach. And down on the bayou, LSU wide receiver Terrace Marshall Jr. announced today that he will opt out for the remainder of the 2020 season. Marshall currently ranks third in the SEC in receiving yards, and he has 10 touchdowns on the year. Of course, Alabama will play this Saturday night at LSU in Tiger Stadium. Alabama women's basketball versus Houston today in Coleman Coliseum. Megan Abrams with the layup there. Jordan Lewis driving baseline, lays it up and lays it in. Jasmine Walker had a really big day for the Crimson Tide. She gets the steal and she's going to lay it up. She had a career high 25 points today, so a big game for number 40. Allie Craig Cruz, top of the key, triple, nothing but net. Bama wins this one 88-66. to The Tide improved to 2-0 on the year, and here's Christy Curry postgame. And I just really liked the grittiness about our team today. Uh, we were led by our big three. Jazz had a career high, being face guarded and double teamed all day. Araya Copeland, 18 and 14. Uh, can't say enough about that effort. And then Jordan Lewis with 22 and nine for nine from the free throw line. Just a great gritty effort. Meanwhile, the Alabama men's basketball team returns to action tomorrow night in the first round of the Camping World Maui Invitational. But this year, we all know the tournament is being held in Asheville, North Carolina. But nevertheless, the Crimson Tide will face Stanford tomorrow night at 8.30 Central on ESPN2. The game will be the second of the year for the Crimson Tide as Nate Oates looks to build on last Wednesday's win against Jacksonville State. He said his guys are up for the challenge that this tournament presents. I think we're going to end up with three really good games. We're hoping to be playing in the championship on Wednesday. Uh, it's John Petty's birthday. So I told him it would be a great birthday present. He won in the Maui championship. But you know, we've got, we got to win. We got to win tomorrow, on Monday first, and then take care of business Tuesday before we can get there. That's it for sports this evening. I'm William Galloway. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this.